on his birthday. I was talking to Mark last night. I said we should have, you know, a little toast for him or uh, have something to say. And so Mark and I talked a little bit last night, and then today at the basketball game, I thought, well, I'll write something down. I thought, let me just put some thoughts together, and it really came uh, pretty easy, actually. Um, we were just trying to think, and I was sitting with Denise, and I said, what are the character traits that, you know, we would look at and say, you know, Dad's been such a great dad to us. What, what are those things? And so, you know, just a few words came around really quick. You know, we said, uh, well, it's kind and uh, gentle and uh, helpful. And uh, the, the kind of the cool thing was, as we listed about five of these attributes, and the thing I related it back to was, you know, when he talked about, you know, biblically, the, the fruits of the Spirit. You know, there's like nine of them. So love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, it's so wild that I thought of the first five character traits that I'm thinking about Dad that we thought of, you know, not only Mark and I, but all of us, and I'm sure Melanie were here part of it, were actually, you know, they were biblical. And, you know, you folks here have all been friends of uh, my dad's, and, uh, you know, we were lucky enough to have him uh, for a dad and you for uh, a friend. And so, you know, we just, uh, we, we really are thankful, you know, to have been raised by a guy like you. Um, <laughs> you know, just Mark and I were talking the other day. You know, you call dad up and say, I'm having a problem with, you know, something in my house. And he thinks about it more than you do. You said a half hour later, the doorbell rang, and Dad was there with some kind of tools to, to fix something for you. The cool thing about that was, is we were thinking about, you know, you know, among those character traits, love being one of them. And my mom on, is different from my dad in, in the way she would show you love. She would grab you and just look you straight in the eye and tell you, you know, I can't put into words how much I love you. You know that. And she would you verbalize it. Well, Dad didn't do it that way, but he did it in so many other ways that it's just very evident. You know, if you just look what he does with, um, you know, simple things like squirrels and birds and things like that. It's more than a hobby. The man demonstrates love in a lot of ways. <laughs> Showing up at your house, fixing your roof, fixing your car, fixing your whatever. The guy would do anything the for you. Yeah. He would do anything for you. He'd give you the shirt off his back. So. He just talk about it. We're just lucky, and that's right. So we love the guy to death, and I know everybody in this room feels exactly the same way I do about it. We just want him, you know, to um, to know it. And uh, I had a good half-hour conversation with my brother about it the other night, and we concurred exactly on uh, exactly I think what I said. So, and you know, we want you to know that. So. Happy 76th birthday, and you know, hopefully 76 more. Could I, as his oldest friend, say a little? Sure. sure. How long have we known each other, Tom? Since 10 or so? Oh, that's all old. He went so to grade school together. We've known each other probably 60 years. That's wow. what he was old. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, what you said has been true since he was a kid. The only thing, you never want to go to a movie and watch a western movie. Do you guys know what I mean? No. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he get excited and he go... <laughs> beat your arm to death. Seriously, he's one of the best... Well, he is probably my best friend and uh, he's just one of the great people in the world. Yeah, I appreciate that, folks. He introduced me to Louise. <clears throat> I used to kid him. I won't anymore. I used to have him spoken to him for years because he did that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, he's a good guy. There was something else I was going to throw in there, and I wanted to thank you and Annalise for showing my folks. Mom just told me that you had brought over some a gift and some flowers uh, for her and that kind of thing. I had meant to add in the end of it. I wanted to thank the both of you for, uh, you know, looking after and showing so much affection to mom and dad and, and just doing the right thing by, uh, you know, just being nice and kind to them. And, and uh, so, you know, I, I want you to know that we really appreciate all that you do for our family also. Okay. Happy birthday, 
Well, let me say a word since I'm part of this partnership. <laughs> <laughs> I'm witness for the beginning. Uh, I can't think of words like John. You can just spew them off. But I'll tell you what. We've been married 56, almost 56 and a half years. I was a child when I married. He was too, just a man. He wasn't much older. But anyway, <laughs> I am so thankful to God for Tommy and my children. And these children could only have come from us. So I love them. They're, the, they're, the, they're my life. And you all are our lives too. We love you, every one of you. We love our family. We love Annalise. She's Paul's new wife. We couldn't have loved our sister anymore, but we love Annalise too. Amen. We're going to pray too, but won't drag it out because that was a long speech. But we do uh, thank God for this food and, and uh, our families. We're fortunate. We've got beautiful homes. We're, I thank my brother and his family for moving home because we're so happy that they're here. Carrie and uh, Jennifer and everybody for moving home, and so you know we've got a lot to be thankful for in this food. Let's see what God for. We pray good, mommy.